Hello everybody, it is I, Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pizza Tower. Last time we completed the rest of Floor 3, and completed the Pig City in Floor 4. This time we're, uh, today we're gonna be going through the rest of the levels. So technically the next level, uh, here, uh, is down there. But let me talk about this guy first. This is Naughty. He's, uh, he's a green looking cheese, uh, cheese slime. He's not really hurting anyone. Uh, if you kill him, there'll be a little tombstone right here. That's, uh, uh, there for Snotty. And you won't get a special unique badge on your save file that says Snotty approved. Now, if you were to accidentally kill Snotty, you can revive him by going into the game's code. But by doing this, the game knows. The game, one of the, uh, hold on, let me, let me go up to, uh, let me go up here. One of these, one of these people right here, uh... It will, will pretty much, will pretty much says, I, it's not he knows what you did, or I know what you did, or something like that. He beat this all. You've gone far enough, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, here's, here's the noise. Just, just kind of smoking, as he normally tends to do. Uh, anyway, here's Gustavo and Brick playing, uh... Uh, playing cards. Uh, technically, our next level's right there. Uh, first, we're gonna have to go down here to change clothes. Uh, what should we change clothes? Uh, well, I meant... Well, I meant to do the, uh, itchy sweater for, uh, Pink City. Because that's... Because this is the outfit you get for getting, pinched, getting punched by Grandpa. Anyways. Welcome to Peppy Bot Factory. Uh, this level is kind of tricky platforming-wise. Uh, there are, there are wieners, though. Uh, the brown ones don't really do much. Kill the red ones, they drop a can of whoop ass. So, uh, be careful about that. Also, be careful to do not run too far right there. Yeah, this is what I mean by, uh... This is what I mean by, uh... Platform is kind of difficult. To the point where it's like, honestly, it's, you're better off just doing a shiny spark. Like that. Kill these assholes. And for them to kill the rat, because it's easier to do that. Damn. And I didn't press jump again, even though I can press plus. There we go. Drop your cannibal fast. Oh, down here. Yep, this is what I mean, uh... This is what I mean wh why I think this level is just kind of... A bit on the more challenging side of things. Fuck. Cool. Okay, that counted at least for killing that rat. Anyway, we're gonna shine spark up here. Kill this, kill that guy. Uh, there's achievement for killing every single uh, Pepino robot. Uh, I have yet to find all of them, even though I think I killed them all. Really weird. Anyway, that's where uh, the gender slot is. Uh, you won't be able to get that until peak time, by the way. Just figure I uh, go go. Might as well mention that for the record. Okay, I don't have super taunt. Normally, this is a good spot to super taunt since there's a lot of enemies. But, uh, unfortunately, I don't have it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head down here for a bit because there's a, uh... There's a secret right here. Anyway. Yep, uh, if you... If you dodge every single one of those, uh, this, you get achievement. And, uh, you'll have to dodge every single one of them. You cannot just leave the, uh, secret early and say, uh, and say you dodge them all. You actually have to do that. Uh, anyway, so, this song, uh, this part of the stage, uh, the song in particular, people used to think that's the sample. People thought the sample said, door, door suck, as in the, uh, that very famous, uh, 
Counter-Strike video of the guy just getting stuck on the door. Uh, door stuck! Door stuck! Oh, come on, I'm parry. There we go. But, uh... Yeah, it, no, it's it, it, but sample is saying don't stop. Yeah, so sample is saying don't stop, so... Yeah. Anyway, we're going to dodge these hands and go in here, because that's where the next secret is. And that's that. Really, really cool secret, eh? Get out of here. Actually, that's an easier way than doing the hand, I just realized. Let's do that, even. I missed. There we go. Anyway, we're getting into the stages that poor gimmick is doing. Get out of here. Here it is. Uh, think of, so this is this game's version of Flat Warrior from the Warrior Land game. Uh, you have multiple jumps, and you have a little spin attack. But, it's kind of like Kirby. The multiple jumps kind of work like Kirby, where it's like, every jump you do, you go less and less higher. Also, the sound, also the sound of killing all those uh, big, tiny rats are satisfying. So yeah. Now obviously like any other transformation, if you get hit by like, I don't know, a cannibal fast or something like that, or land or, or run into a, a uh, power outlet, uh you you are gonna have to go back to those uh to those uh what do you call it? Things again. Anyway, we're just gonna We're just gonna continuously run, run, run down here and such. Be, be sure to be sure to go up that hand to grab the pineapple, cause uh, you won't be able to get that pineapple. And we need the, and you do need the uh, the box transformation to uh, asshole. Uh, you do need the box transformation to uh, get past this. Now, luckily, the devs were nice enough to put the put a, uh, a flattener in every uh, in every feasible spot imaginable. Anyway, we're gonna get down here because our final secret is down here. Damn. Yep, and that's the main difficulty about this uh, section. Now, as you see. As soon as you hit a rat, just mash the attack button, because you'll immediately, uh, you move forward when you, uh, when you do an attack. Damn, I ran out of jumps. Uh, I think, thank God for checking. There we go. And good thing pizza time. Pizza, good thing the pizza time timer does not. Uh... Yeah, this section is really mean. I might add. But anyways, you move too fast for these cheese blocks, man. Uh, I mean, it's not like it's not like you're that deep anyway. But actually, what about people? I can just kill him again. Now I'm not. Now I never as ranked this level before, so I'm not gonna go for the second lap. There we go. Yep, and now we're down here, and well, here's the exit. But we can't really exit uh, without a poke, which is luckily conveniently right there.
and we're gonna ignore uh, the dwarf right now. Because we still have to go back up here. And why ask? Well, uh, well, that's that's how you access from store. You can only access it during pizza time. Anyway, we got ourselves a hospital. And that's that level. Gotta, gotta love that jingle. That little, uh, rink. Uh, the, uh, the D-Rink, uh, version of that is really funny because it just, it just all goes wrong as soon as, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're finally at this level. I can finally use that brown color. Yeah, uh, study up on how you unlock that. Because I'm not joking. And wanna know what's even funnier? In, in, oh shit. Yes, that's the name of the level. Fuck you, YouTube. You do. Uh, I, uh, as, soon as, as soon as the uh, title screen, as soon as the level uh, uh, title comes up, YouTube's gonna go like, it's uh, good for kids. They're, for, they're good for kids. And they're just gonna just nuke my video up the wazoo. I'm not one for talking about controversy, but, but I I hate YouTube with a burning passion because like I because like oh they want a platform thing for kids they make you, they make YouTube kids it like it still boggles my mind it still boggles my mind that they uh that they're so that like like I don't know why they're enforcing like the uh the kid friendly policies on regular YouTube. Something that adults and teenagers use. Like, honestly, if there's so many problems with kids' con content on YouTube being inappropriate, I don't think, I don't think, I, like, now, now, if it's like any of the Elsa Gate stuff, then fine, fair enough. Most people deserve to, uh, to go to hell and whatnot. But, uh, but if it's just a content like mine, just, people just, playing video games or, or like inform informative video or like even just comedy sketches uh, that has a lot of swearing uh yeah I don't I feel like it's unfair for us to get punished uh, like I just feel it's a bit unfair that we uh, get punished over, over just well make because like my content here towards uh more older folks like think like hey, Around teens, like around that teenage, teenager to like high school, like think like those with a high school age, and, and according to YouTube uh, Antelix, uh, or however you pronounce that, uh, most of the people that do watch my content are around uh, the age frame. So, hey, fine by me. Uh, anyway, we got more monkeys here. Maybe there's goddamn banana fields. Uh, anyways, yeah, I, guess, I guess going back on that YouTube channel, just like words cannot express how disappointed I am in uh, in YouTube's decision making. Like honestly, like I feel like in this modern day and age, I feel like the people who are just running these big companies are not the brightest. Like, like I feel like they're just making decisions that make it that makes it makes using the platform really just unusable for for most customers which which is like I don't know where I'm going with this I, I just hate how YouTube is being run and I hate and I hate how uh, regular old YouTubers like us are, are getting punished uh, because uh, I'm kid friendly I, oh, I was way too much yeah that that wasn't how yeah, that wasn't how YouTube was designed back then. Like, and honestly, like, and like, I know back, like, I know back then, like, a lot of companies did not want, like, more mature content to be advertising, but, but we're in the age where most companies actually don't really mind that too often. So, yeah. 
Anyway, enough, anyway, enough about my side tension on that. Uh, Jerome, in this level, is right here. Now, that's a very tricky, uh, no blocks break, so... seen some drama on Twitter about these enemies, the Mr. Pinch enemies. They, uh, uh, they're based off of the, uh, Jew, like a Jew stereotype, which I was like, yeah, I guess I can see it, but, but Mick Pig actually confirmed that those enemies, uh, Mr. C, Mr. Pinch enemies, are actually, they're based off of, they're based off of, uh, the stereotypical, uh, Mr. Scrooge. Uh, so things like from, uh, thing from, like, uh, what do you, that, what was that Christmas? Uh, uh, Christmas Carol. That's uh, that's what they're. That's and the other and the other half of it is based off of Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. You who you know has a pointy nose. Like I, and like and I see this game getting a lot of hate just for seemingly no reason. Like probably because ew, popular thing bad must hate on it because so I can be different. Like, honestly, if you feel you need to hate on something just because it's popular, honestly, it's... Like, if you're hating on something because it's popular, I don't think your opinion is ever valid. That, that's just my opinion, but... But, yeah. Anyway, it's pizza time. Let's just grab these up here. Oh, how did I miss that? Ma, ma. I also like how the uh, how a uh, cheese uh, cheese Peppino is is this game's version of uh, Zombie Wario from the Wario Land games. There we go. Now, the, now, the, now there's a secret here that's actually very easy to miss. Also, there's a achievement to not get pinched by any of the Mr. Pinches in this room. Anyway, Jerome is Jerome scores right here. Very easy to get to. So if you're not paying attention, you'll probably miss it. So keep that in mind. Bye, monkeys. Anyway, we're gonna continue uh, passing through here. Excuse you, I grabbed you. Anyway, yeah. So, so the secret is coming up. So, if you if you want to try and get the secret, you're gonna have to avoid that little speed thing. Avoid pressing A, and just keep riding those that way up there. Yep. Uh. At this rate, I'm going to try and go for all the secrets. And like I said in the uh, previous episode, if I do end up... If I do end up, uh, what do you call it? Uh, finding the rest of the secrets. After I beat the final ball to the, uh, in the finale, I'll go back to Gnome Forest and jump cut to, uh, to the uh, secret we're missing. And then I'll probably complete the rest of the episode. And then, and then if there's a, and if there's time left, I'll probably do a boat. I'll probably do a uh, a bonus part of the uh, or like if there's time left, I'll do some bonus content like finding all the tower. Like the uh, the hub, the uh, the hub tower actually has some secrets in it. Thing in mind. So yeah, there's that. There's also. Uh, I'm 
I don't know. I don't know what else I can uh, show off. Well, I guess a few other miscellaneous things, and maybe a few uh, other, other secrets. But who knows? But yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I fully decided I'm going to try and grab every single secret. And I'm good. And if I do grab every single secret, I'm gonna. Actually, I'm gonna try and grab the known core secret before the final boss. But anyway, uh, so we've done all the levels over here. Uh, so, well, or at least in this section, there's only one more level we're missing. Uh, not using mock run, so I don't accidentally kill Snotty here, because he's friend. Uh, our last level is right here. Oh, wait, shit. I, for I forgot that I forgot to change the, the color. Hold on. Hold on. I need to change I need to change my color because there's a really funny joke I gotta do. Make sure I don't accidentally kill Snotty. And quick, let's just quickly uh head over there and uh do that real quick. Shit. There there it is, okay. Hey ready. Make sure not to, let's just make sure we don't accidentally kill uh Snotty there. There we go. Now now we can do this level. Now we can do this level. Now there's a reason why I picked green for this level. Uh and believe me, it's a decent joke. Uh this level seems to be pretty easy to paint rank in my opinion not like not too hard and that's just because there's just plenty of enemies to kill now i'm not going to try and go for p rank because you're you are going to have to backtrack for some uh for some secrets and there are and there are some really annoying enemies that you can that you can actually just get hurt by if you're not in mach 3 really annoying enemies i tell you and there's these set packs. There's an achievement in this game to uh, find every single bird, or like free every single bird possible. I'm not gonna go for it. I don't even have the achievement on my on my personal save file. Up. Oh, well, no more P rank. That's eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. Anyway, yep. So this is. So we're literally in a refrigerator, apparently. Uh, yeah, there's a secret right there. We're gonna have to turn on this oven here. I used to think that was, I used to think it was actually a generator, but no, it was actually, in, strangely enough, it was, uh, it was actually an oven. Anyway, we're gonna have to go up here to get the uh, secret. There we go. First try. We're gonna go up here. Also, uh, Pepino has a different uh, idle animation here for this level. It's old. I don't know why I don't know why that guy's there. Oh yeah, this. Yep. Anyway, we're back at this room. Uh, we broke all the uh, all the ice here. And here's the second part of this. Anyway, here's Santa. You can kill him. Uh, I used to think you can only kill him with super taunts, but no, apparently if you just throw an enemy at him, he dies. There's an achievement for killing the fake Santa five times. And yes, that is, and that's, that's what he's literally called. He's literally called the fake Santa. Oh, oh there's an asshole right here that needs to die. There we go. Now, for now, fortunately, the enemies that the fake Santa spawns 
does that increase your counter? Or your uh, combo counter? But it does. It does, in fact, uh, uh, keep the combo going. is actually over here. And anyway, and then we're just gonna get to you down here like normal. Oh, this part, yep. Get out of here. Satan's Choice Pizza. And look at me! It is I! Anton, Dynamite Anton from Anton Blast! Yep, so that's why I went for the green color, folks, because... Because Pep Pepito Skin turns red at this level. And wanna want know who else is green and red? Uh, protectors of a uh, uh, hit upcoming game, Anton Blast. And hit game, Anton, Anton Ball Deluxe. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, while in, anyway, jokes aside, when you're in the, when you're in St. Stephen's Choice Pizza mode, uh, you get, you get a little, uh, little floating, uh, move here. But on top of that, any enemy you walk into, regardless if you're attacking them or not, will just instantly die. So think of this as, like, the, uh, think of this as the, uh, as the, uh, star power up. The power star from, uh, Mario. Like, the invincibility star. That's the better name for it. Anyway, it's pizza time. Anyway, so you're back here, and Jerome will be off to the side here. Get out of here, Santa. Also, as you may see here, see there, Gustavo is frozen solid. Poor guy. Okay, I haven't killed enough enemies to, uh, kill Santa there. I believe if we go, yeah, I believe if we go here, yep, so our final secret is right here. Yep, there we go, simple enough. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's try and get out of here. This is all, if you're trying to get the funny and unfunny, uh, skit, uh, outfits, this is definitely the, uh, the perfect, uh, level to do it on, because it's very easy to rack up a combo, because you just get to kill enemies. Let's just go up here, open up, uh, this. Plenty of time, so we're gonna do a uh, second lap here. Now, unfortunately, in the second lap, you're you are no longer allowed in uh, the same choice pizza mode, as uh, as shown with that uh, with that free milk thing. Oh, this is good. 
Oh, come on, really? God, we're wasting time. There we go. God, it should have not been that difficult just to, uh... Well, you need to climb up here. Yeah. Excuse me, game. There we go. Yep, we wasted a lot of time, so we're probably going to have to cut this float. Uh, if I end up dying to, uh, to Mr. Pizza Face, then I'm just going to cut back to where I actually complete the level normally with everything, uh, with everything in hand. Luckily, it shouldn't be too difficult now. We're pretty much in home stretch. Get out of here, Santa. There we go. Woo! Again, cutting it close, but... Man. That was close. Now, fortunately, we are out of time for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing to the channel because I would, I would really appreciate it it'll help the channel grow and it'll have and YouTube it'll force YouTube to push my content which is something I would want because uh because well, well I want people to see my content like let's be real like I'm putting all this effort for people to not see my content anyway anyway I hope you guys have a good day afternoon night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll be uh, beating up the fuck well, the, uh, the fourth boss, which I'm not naming to avoid spoilers, and, uh, and move on to the final world. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, buh-buh.